Hello everybody, I'm TH and welcome back to Darkestville Castle. Right, I have a rough idea what I'm supposed to do, so let us continue. For those who don't know, um, I'm trying to rescue what I think is a piranha. Again, I think so. Let's have a look. So just to recap, some demon hunters came in and stole. Here used to be my lovely fish, Domingo. He's a bit sad about it, so let us see. I just want to make sure there's nothing in the house I still need. Um... It's broken. The tires are flat and everything else is rusty. I would love to terrorize the town as the demon bike rider again, but this bicycle is beyond repair. Okay, can I mix ah. Come to me, my instrument of eternal terror. Okay, so I've got a bicycle horn. That might be useful. Um, I'm It's me! A fake wanted poster made by Dan Teapot. I keep it as a memento. It reads, Dead or Alive, Sid the Demon, One Million Berry. Okay, ooh, what's this? It's locked and glued with some kind of sticky stuff. It's glued shut and I can't pry it open. Maybe if I had some kind of abrasive substance or another. Oh wait, in the last episode there was a alcoholic, he, he was drinking solvent, so I've got to try and get that off him. How the hell did that end up here? Is that even physically possible? Is there anything here? It's just one. I don't want just one sock. It's my hook-shaped cane. I generally use it to ruin the school musicals by yanking kids off the stage with it. Okay, um, don't see what I'd need that for, so... To the yard. It's our local hobo, Jeffrey Badsock. He's pretty useful. I've tried all kinds of potions on him ever since I was a little demon. So... Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Chip. What are you drinking? Oh, this. It's glue sobbing. It may not be as good as an old red wine, but it's not that bad. What does it taste like? Awful. But it's still better than water. Can I have some of your blue solvent? Worth a shot. Uh uh. If I give it to you, then what will I drink? Why do you always want random items from other people? Goodbye. Goodbye, champ. Okay, so I need to find some alcohol. Now, from what I remember in the last time, um. The castle doesn't have any, the tavern doesn't have any. Let's try the mayor's house for a bit. She's Mrs. Johnson, the mayor's secretary. She may look inoffensive, but she swings her umbrella really hard for a woman of her age. Hey, I can hear you. What are you saying about my age? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Liquor cabinet. Ooh. Here, the mayor stores his booze. Um, worth a shot? The cabinet was depleted for redecoration. Oh, wait a minute. They forgot this bottle of 25-year-old whiskey. Interesting. 
Well, I think I've solved the issue of how to get the glue solvent. Let's go, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. May I talk with the mayor? Do you have an appointment? Mmm, yep. Oh, really? Let me check that in the mayor's agenda. No, you haven't. You know, Sid, today was a really long day. Why don't you go play your pranks on someone else? My pranks? My pranks? Please don't insult me, woman. I don't play pranks. I do evil deeds of demonic proportions. Oh, I didn't mean to insult you, honey. But could you go to do your things outside? I heard that Mr. Martinez got a brand new doorbell. I hope no one goes to play Ding Dong Ditch at him. Ding Dong Ditch? Are you suggesting that I use my evil genius to play that childish game? Good night, Mrs. Johnson. We'll talk later. Good night, my dear. Okay, so... Dad T was the only one that doesn't seem to like him, so this will be fun. Okay, so let's go get the glue solvent. Let's see. Wow, this is one of the finest 25-year-old whiskeys ever made. My glue solvent tasted like poison in comparison to this. Thanks. Okay, so that works. Okay, so what else is there? Oh, there's a town alley. This might be interesting to explore. What do you expect? It's full of trash. <laughs> that darn dog is guarding his neighborhood. If I walk past his house, he will bite me. Or shoot me. Okay. I'm almost positive that this door was a part of my machine for creating uncertainty. I discarded it because I was never really sure if the machine actually worked. I can't reach the handle. It's too tall. Okay, well we'll come back to that then. Uh, let's go see what's in the liquor cabinet. Or well, the medicine cabinet, so... Oh wait, um, I'll grab the cane here and I might be using that. A gentleman door. has no class if he doesn't have his cane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Presto! That glue solvent works really quickly. I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, it's probably what glued the cabinet door on in the first place. Things made with evil goo are so hard to manage. All the anecdotes that contain, and then I went for the sleeping pills, are good ones. Extra soft, silk textured, mint oh. scented toilet paper. Mint scented. Extra so, soft, silk textured, mint scented toilet paper. Okay, so maybe. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Hmm. I prefer to keep that dog and his desire to kill me locked. So what do I do now? Uh... Oh! Presto! It fits perfectly. Okay, let's... Ha! In your face, dog. Are you barking? Sorry, I can't hear you. Ah, victory is so sweet. 
Now that I think about it, why did I want to come here in the first place? One man's trash is another man's treasure doesn't apply this time. It's a red mailbox. Do you know that it's a crime to read other people's mail? I was joking. The mailbox is empty. What? It seems like someone in this neighborhood was eating my giant mutant chickens. Okay. I'll take the giant mutant chicken leg. It'll be handy if I need to scratch my back. Okay, so... The hot dog wagon arrived in town a few weeks ago. Their hot dogs are pretty good if you don't mind hair in your food. <laughs> what? You don't want me to take it? <laughs> I'll just take a few. <laughs> okay, just two, okay? Okay, who's this? It's Pedro, the owner of the hot dog wagon. A man who travels the world. A man without a home, a man without fear, a man without any semblance of personal hygiene. Hi. Hello, Sid. How's the evil doing going? Uh, the night is kind of a tough night. Dan Teapot called some demon hunters. Demon hunters? I don't like them. They never buy anything. Good luck fighting them. Pedro. How is business going? Unbelievable! Is that bad or good? Bad. I ran out of my special marinara sauce. I have to replace it with the new clam ink sauce, but no one likes it. It looks like regular ink. Because that's what it is. What about your other sauces? They're just props to give the impression of variety. Neat trick, isn't it? I know, I know, I'm a genius. You don't have to say it. I am a marketing devil. Can you give me some of that ink sauce? I need it for my hot dogs, you'll see. A hot dog without any sauce isn't the same, but let's do something. I will give you all of it if you help me do some marinara sauce. What do you need to make marinara sauce? I need something with a special touch of sophistication. Like what exactly? I don't know. Something that stinks the right way. Goodbye. See you later. And remember, we are open all night. It reads, hot dog wagon of the flavor, because life is too short to care about food poisoning. Okay, so I need to find something that stinks. Um, I wonder if I can give him the soap. That doesn't need to be slippery. Okay, so I now need to find something. <laughs> um. It's a blind guy outside a bar with a half-made Cuban mojito. Sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. Oh wait, he last time said it didn't taste of mint, so let's have a bit of a laugh with him. What is it? It's our special Darkestville mint. Just smell the minty scent. Cool. That'll surely enhance my mojito. Let me try it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, now it's much better. Mm. It was a pretty good taste, and the texture was good too. It was extra soft, premium quality, only the best of the best. Thanks. May I return the glass to the tavern for you? Yeah, sure, why not? Thank you again. Presto. Okay, so I have a glass. What am I gonna do it? It's the town river, full of calm, warm water, and killer piranhas. Okay, so I've got a glass. So what else have I got to do?
I need to get the key, so... Hmm. Let's work on this guy first. People used to stumble on the route below and fall through the pit stairs, so the cemetery administrator decided to build this wooden ramp. People still fall through the crypt stairs, but only on the days I wax the ramp. I cannot move it. This thing is well nailed to the floor. It's the cemetery crypt. It's too dark to see inside there, and the crypt ladder steps are too tall. Which is a terrible combination. Or a perfect combination if you're planning to throw someone through the ladder. I only have to wait until someone walks over it. Maybe we can get this guy to walk over it. Because he was talking about a creature that reminded me of recurring when she's in a bad mood. Hello. What's up, Dan? Uh... About that demon I hired you to hunt for. Where is it? Oh, that. It's in our demon chest. But don't worry, it will not be bothering you again. It's locked with three... There's n... There must... Miss... A okay... Hey, look! It's the big pie raptor! Where? It's hiding inside the crypt! I just saw it! At last! You are caught! Wait. Wait a minute. I Walrus probably told you to tell me so that he can laugh at my disappointed face. I will not fall for that again. But I just saw it! Oh yeah. Do you have a photo, footprints, oh. a piece of pie, or something else to prove it? No. Not really. Then tell Walrus I'll not fall for that this time. I have other matters to attend to. Okay. Goodbye, and stay vigilant. mark some footprints with this chicken leg. Just hang in there. This could take some time. Presto! The chicken leg is all muddy now. I'd better discard it. Okay, we'll try this pie raptor thing again. Hello? What's up, Dan? Hurry! I just saw the big pie raptor! Look at his footprints! Sorry, pal, but I will not fall for... Oh my goodness! It is true! They are pointing directly to the crypt! At last, I have you cornered, you apple-scented scum! I thought Recurry hated apples. How you should trick his blue uh, blueberries. I'm truly a master of deception. Bear grab his wallet. I saw it first. I found a key inside this wallet. Okay, so we got that. Now to get the key from the big guy, not worry about the sister in a moment. Hello? Hey! Goodbye. I 
have other matters to attend to. It was a pleasure to talk with you, sir. Okay, is there anything I can grab here? Oh, peanuts. Ah, uh, one of the oldest tricks. Offering tavern clients free salty peanuts to make them drink more. Classic, simple, and evil. Mm. Oh, and the implications for people with high blood pressure. I love this marketing concept. I think the tavern keeper will not mind if I take some of them. Okay, so... The cup is empty. I need to fill it with liquid to dissolve the pill. Okay, let's try going to the water. Can I fill the water up from the lake? I don't want to get my hand near the river. It's full of killer piranhas. It's the town river, full of calm, warm water, and killer piranhas. Okay, so this is getting fun. Can I direct the castle? A great idea. Can I add the sugar cubes? No thanks. Okay, so... Can I see anything in here? I don't want a huge mirror. I'm not building a deadly ray of death. Tonight. It's full of holes and stinks. I wonder why I haven't burnt the thing already. Oh, well, maybe I can give that to the, um, hot dog No sales. one knows when you're going to need a coat with this crazy weather. Even if that coat is old and full of holes and stinks. Okay, so let's... Let's go to the tavern. Wanna give this a try? What is it? It's our special local beer. Let me try it! Mm. <clears throat> ah, this beer is too soft. It tastes almost like water. I think... Let's see what we can find in his pockets. Ah, here it is. One of the keys of the demon chest. One step closer to freeing Domingo. Okay, so now all we have to do is... Go to the mayor's house. Um... Hey, that's exactly what I was looking for to make my marinara sauce. It smells perfectly, but please keep the secret. I don't want people to start copying my secret sauce. May I have your clam ink sauce now? Of course, I don't need it anymore. Awesome. So what am I gonna do with ink? Ah, this wallet has no money. What a shame. It is Walrus's lucky charm. It didn't bring him that much luck, did it? What can I do with the peanuts? Salty, but delicious peanuts. Oh, wait, um... What's that? 
Problem is, I don't recall what kind of trap it was. It looks like some kind of insomniac pigeon. So what happens if I combine the peanuts with the bench? Take it, birdie birdie. Oh, uh, now I recall. I put an explosive charge on this bench. Well. Those third-degree burns will teach that pigeon not to accept gifts from strangers. It's the feather of that insomniac pigeon. Eh, yeah, why not? Two million more of those and I can make myself a new pillow. Okay, so... I need a way... ...of getting the book. Um... Great. Now I have a quill and ink. <sighs> no. no thanks. <gasps> you want to kill me from a heart attack? Give me that thing. And don't you ever dare do that again. Who would have believed that Darkestville Castle had a political agenda? Okay, so that worked. Here, Mrs. Johnson keeps the mayor's daily schedule. It was a lot of creative work, but now the mayor has a much better agenda. Not only does he have an appointment with me, but by next Saturday, we will declare war with three different countries. <laughs> I used all the ink, so I'll discard the quill. I don't think I'm going to need it anymore anyway. I will leave this here. Hey, you found it. Thank you, dear. I was looking for this agenda all this time. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. I have an appointment with the mayor right now. Oh, really? Let me check that. Oh, it's true. And according to this is indeed right now. Well, I will inform the mayor about it. Give me a minute, my dear. Mr. Mayor? Yes. I have someone here waiting to talk with you. Yes, he has an appointment for right now. It's marked as urgent. Okay, I will tell him. Hello. I would... Get, get out! I, I, I'm expecting someone important. But I... Get out! I'll talk for you later. I'm not sure if she has a real tail or if it's some kind of gimmick. She looks nice, though. Okay, so... Hello! Hi, Dan, right? Dan Teapot? Apparently. And you are? I'm Foxy. Foxy Romero? I replied to your letters about hiring us. Uh, oh, yes, yes, of course. What a weird-looking chest. What's inside it? There's the demon you hired us to hunt. Well, not only him. Also, all the demons that we've been hunting for years. You'll see, this is not an ordinary chest. It contains a pocket dimension in its interior. Interesting. And what if someone accidentally left the chest open and let loose all those demons? You don't have to worry about it. This chest is locked with three locks. Each Romero has a key, so the chest can't be opened without our express consent. I see. Why are you at the mayor's house? I was presenting our papers to the local authorities. We don't want any trouble with the law. 
and the rest of the team. Walrus is at the tavern, and Mongoose is training at the cemetery. So, hypothetically, since you're all scattered, if someone wanted to attack your team, this would be the best moment, right? I guess. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> you. So, to open that chest, you need three keys, right? May I see one? Sorry, but I cannot show you my key. It is part of our code of conduct. If the key falls in the wrong hands, it could cause a lot of trouble. How much trouble? Just imagine if someone released all the demons that are inside the chest into a little town like this. Yes! Just imagine if all those demons became the servants of their savior. And he became the demon king. And with his new demonic <sighs> army, he conquers the world! <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. Um... Uh... I have other matters to attend to. Talk to you later. Goodbye, Dan. Okay, so... It looks like Walrus's lucky charm. He never goes out without it. Where did you find this? Um... Outside the tavern? Maybe you should go out and investigate about it. Don't worry about your stuff. I'll watch over it. I cannot leave the chest. I will wait for Mongoose to come here before going to investigate. I hope everything is okay. Uh, Mongoose is what? Where did you find this? This is Mongoose's wallet. Oh, that. Well, I found it in the cemetery. I hope nothing happened to your friend. If I were you, I would go and investigate it. Don't worry about your stuff. I'll watch over it. You are right. Something fishy is going on. I better go investigate it. Dan, this is very important. I need you to watch over my stuff. And please don't let anyone manipulate the demon chest while I'm out. Do you understand me? This is very important. Yep, absolutely. You should not worry at all. You are doing the right thing. Goodbye. See you soon. Take your time. I'm gonna watch over your stuff. Oh, I can be so charming at times. Now I better act quickly before she returns. Let's see what we've got here. Papers, 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 and here it is. The last key I needed to open the chest. Don't worry, Domingo. I'm here. You're almost out. Just give me a minute to... Go. There you are, buddy. I missed you. Don't worry. I'm here and everything is gonna be all right from now on. Oh, that was a quick game. Uh, oh. Um, who are they? Oh, we are the demons of the fifth hell. I'm King Vigo, young one. Now, can you tell me where we are? Sure. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. And you are now in Darkestville. Darkestville, eh? All right, boys. Now that we're free again, let's go have some fun. We're gonna take Darkestville for ourselves and show those pesky humans who's in charge. Hey, but I've released you. You should be following my orders. <laughs> oh. Ah, nice joke, kiddo. Thanks for releasing us. I like your attitude, but I'm King Vigo. I don't follow orders. Now, let's move forward. This town isn't going to pillage itself. But... Hmm. Who would have thought that demons would be a bunch of ungrateful scoundrels? <coughs> well, the important thing is that you are all right, Domingo. Now let's go home so I can build you a new fish tank. Come on.
Come on, Domingo. Follow me. Here, boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're pretty smart for a fish. Don't worry. I will make a brand new fish tank for you. You will love it. I'll even build a machine gun on top of it so no one can ever bother you again. Come on, buddy. Just a little bit more. You're pretty fast for a giant fish out of water. That's weird. I don't recall leaving the castle door closed. Who goes there? Oh, it's you. Get off my lawn. What? What? Your lawn? What are you doing inside my castle? Get out of here. So this was your castle? What? It is my castle. Now open up that door. Nope. I hope no one just opens the castle door. Well, then you will hate it when I... Hey, wait a minute. Nice try. I almost fell for it. Open that door or I'll huff and I'll puff <laughs> and I'll blow the castle in. I don't think so. You don't even have a real mouth. Hey, that was offensive. Thank you. I'll sue you. Do as you wish. I have hordes of undead lawyers under my control. Could you kindly open that door? Nope. Open, 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 open. No, 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 no. Open, 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 open. Look, one of us has to be the mature one. And it isn't going to be me. Open, 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 and open. Oh, in the name of everything that is evil. What annoyance. There must be some way of... Yeah, this should be the lever. <laughs> okay, so I'm now stuck in jail. Imprisoned in my own trap. The irony. At least Dan Teapot isn't here anymore. I wonder if he escaped. Or if he ended up like Waldo. Okay, well for now I think I'm going to leave this episode here. It's getting interesting. So now I've got to uh, battle hordes of demons. Here's your life. Oh well. But until then, I have been DH. This has been Darkestville Castle. I hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you guys in two weeks. Good luck and sweet nightmares.